Today's video is possibly one of the most important tutorials we've ever made on this channel and it might even save your life. Now, my auntie and our mother have both had close calls with skin cancer and we actually know two different people who've had to have operations on their skin to remove tumours that have grown. This video we're posting on the fishing tutorials channel because fishermen specifically are at a much higher risk of developing skin cancer because we spend more time outdoors. So in this video we're going to look at how to avoid potentially developing skin cancer in later life and the ways that you can protect yourself and stay safe on the bank. So it's actually UV or ultraviolet light that is the main cause of developing uh, skin cancer. UV light can come from the sun, but it's also present uh, in tanning uh, beds. I'll assume as an angler, you're probably more likely to be getting a tan on the bank than you are in a salon or whatever. Um, but those are, the, you know, those are the sources of this dangerous UV light. Being burnt by the sun, even just once, drastically increases the chances of developing uh, skin cancer in later life. So you really want to avoid getting burnt by the sun. Today, <laughs> it's a little bit cloudy. It was hot and sunny earlier, um, but it's uh, very unlikely that we'll be getting burnt today. But if you're out, and uh, particularly in the spring, summer, and autumn, you know, the sun's more direct, it's higher in the sky, uh, you want to protect yourself uh, from that UV light. One very popular and well-known way of protecting yourself from getting sunburnt is sun cream or sunscreen. This is like a spray on one and there's multiple different types of sun cream available. The important thing that you want to look for is what the SPF rating is. I don't know what SPF stands for but it essentially explains how much coverage you're getting, how much protection you're getting from that UV light. So you want to look for something with SPF 50 really uh, or above that you know that's really what you've got to try and look for to make sure you're getting maximum protection from the sun as well as that you've got to be you've got to try and make sure um, that you uh, check how long that that um, protection lasts it's no good you know putting some cream on at the beginning of the day and then 24 hours later it's rubbed off and it's not doing its job lastly with your sun cream check that it's not out of its you know sell by date or use by date sun cream can begin to uh, you know, stop working as it gets older. So if you've got a five-year-old bottle of sun cream, it might not be doing its job. So just check what the use-by date on that uh, cream is. Normally, um, I've been told <laughs> that sun cream will tend to last you know, up to about three years. If, if you've had that bottle for longer than that, I would, uh, I would get rid of that and grab yourself some new, some new cream. In conjunction with using sun cream, when it's really bright and hot and sunny, you also will want to try and find some shade. That's why even if it's not gonna rain and it's the middle of summer, my brother and I will often still bring our fishing umbrella, provides a little bit of shade and you can get out of that sun um, should it get really bright and hot. As well as that, there's clothing. So I've got a peaked cap today, which will be keeping sun off of my face. There are other types of cap available as well. Long sleeve, Shirts are worth considering, uh, particularly if you really don't like wearing the sun cream, a long sleeve shirt can shade your skin and help uh, protect you as well. On the topic of clothing, I also want to mention that our sponsor, Corda, has a full range of summer wear, lightweight, breathable uh, clothing to help protect you from the sun. There's, uh, it's called the Cool range, and there's also caps, like wide-rimmed caps and stuff in that range too. But the main reason I wanted to mention these products specifically is because Corda actually donate profits from the uh, wide-rimmed cap and the long-sleeve uh, breathable uh, shirts in the Cool range to a children's cancer fund. It's the Lennox Children's Cancer Charity. It's basically a charity that looks after kids who have got cancer. So if you are looking to buy some outdoor wear, you know, protect you from the sun, then you might as well support a good cause at the same time. Typical English weather, we're out here shooting a video about getting burnt and avoiding skin cancer and it's pouring with rain. <laughs> the places that most people tend to get burnt is often on the back of the neck, on the face and the tip, like, tops of the ears. Uh, another sensitive area of your body that you want to try and protect is actually around your eyes. It's very delicate skin and that's why wearing a pair of uh, glasses uh, during the summer not only helps you spot fish in the water, but it'll also protect that delicate skin around your eyes. Finally, wear a cap like this beautiful Carl cap or 
one that I really, well, it doesn't really suit me, but this is literally the best way to protect yourself from the sun, full coverage all around, and you won't regret it because I know full well from the people uh, that I know who have had skin cancer, it's not fun. And if it spreads to the rest of your body or into your blood, uh, it can be uh, yeah, terminal. And that's not something that you really want to risk. So look after yourself, keep an eye on that sun and um, protect yourself from potentially de developing skin cancer. It doesn't take a lot of effort. And I don't like having sun cream on my skin and stuff like that, it's uncomfortable, but it's a lot less uncomfortable uh, than developing skin cancer. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Good luck, stay safe and um, tight lines everyone. See you soon.